Hi, I'm Rosalyn Esimplari, and I'm principal here at Our Lady of Victories Elementary School in Sayreville, New Jersey. As a child, I always loved school. Played school. When I left school, I loved learning. I loved new things, interesting things, because it was so different in the environment that I was actually growing up in. Because they were all working class people, and there was never anything stressed on education. So when I went to school, it was a whole new world for me, and I loved it. And then later on in life, when I was a, a, a volunteer kindergarten age of kindergarten children, it was so positive. Different than nursing, because nursing, you see a lot of sad things. But with education, it was just so exciting how they looked, how excited they got. And that's what really got me hooked. I thought I would just be a classroom teacher, always be in the classroom. And then as I got on in my profession, I thought, you know, I could reach more kids and do really more things if I was in an administrative role. And then my late 50s, I went back for a master's in administration and education. And that's how I became principal. And I love that because I can inspire my teachers also, get them really hooked on all these great new things in education, seeing all the kids, visiting their classrooms every day, and also dealing with parents, because sometimes parents need that reassurance. They need to know, what should I be doing? And I love that. I love being involved. So I, I like where I am now. When I was in high school, I wanted to be a teacher. I always wanted to be a teacher. At that time, it was the opportunities for girls to do things were not there. And we were very poor. I actually had to have a job after school to help put food on the table. So my mother said, you can't go on. I became a hospital volunteer, and I liked nursing also. There were more opportunities for girls to go into nursing. So through scholarships, I was able to do that. So it was a financial burden. And then later on, I raised a family, I was married, and that was an obstacle until I said, nope, it's time for me to go on and do what I want. And that's what I did. I'm really proud of the technology integration into our curriculum. Because we're in the 21st century, how do we prepare the kids? A lot different than when I was in school. No cookie cutter solutions. So with that, I've had iPads, Chromebooks, interactive whiteboards in the classrooms. We have filming equipment, and I'm really proud to see how the students can use it. And they're actually teaching the teachers. So I'm really proud of that. And then I liked when our alumni come back and to see that not only do we prepare them academically, but we prepare them spiritually to become good people, people with values and commitment. And that's what I'm really proud of. I think we have to tell them they, can, they should be strong, confident, always go for their dream, and really be careful who they choose as their role models. It's not what society tells you what you should look like, your body type. That should not be your focus. You should really focus on keeping and sticking to a dream that's worthwhile. What difference are you going to make in this world? That's the advice I would give. I would like to see women really focus on being, having a strong part in society and what happens in the world. We've had a lot of male rulers for a long time. I think it's women who give a different perspective, and that's what I would like to see. More women in more roles, leadership roles. First thing I think people have to respect each other for who we are as a person, never mind gender. And to recognize the strengths that women have that girls have, 
and we have to develop that and encourage women to go into fields of science and math, which we have a very low number that go into that compared to the rest of the world. But I think respect is the first thing. Let's get over all the silliness that goes on and respect a person and what they can bring to the table. I am a mystery buff, so I love anything dealing with mysteries. I love to watch old classic movies that back from the 20s and 30s and 40s and figure out who did what, and I, I get great pleasure out of that. And I like shopping. <laughs> I have to be honest, that's what my stress relief is. I'd want to be a psychic. I want to know what people are thinking. Because sometimes people feel um, uncomfortable really saying what they feel and what their needs are, and you have to kind of draw it out to really help them. And I think in, this, in education, if we knew what the kids were really thinking, that would help. Because I remember looking out at a class, and I knew when I was teaching math, they're not getting this. They're, they're just going like this, but they don't, they're not. So I'd like to really know. my mother telling me don't take because in New York they had in high school three different tracks one was the college prep so you took the academic courses your math your sciences one was commercial it was STEM and typing and then general which really you didn't know what you were doing and she said you can't take the academic don't you're a girl you're gonna grow up and get married and have children and you're not gonna work that was the worst I didn't listen to her I begged to do two courses and I did that was the worst. I'm glad I didn't listen. And she was very happy later on that I didn't. Well, first, if they're going to go into education, they have to really think that when they walk in a classroom, it's what the needs of the kids are. They're not just students. They come to us today with problems in their families. And when, we walk, when they walk in the door, we have to understand that. And that's what you want to do. You want to take the strengths they have, and it's up to you to plant that seed, to develop it, to make them feel that they can accomplish anything. Nothing is impossible. <laughs>